Okay, here it is. It's been a long time coming. P2 Agent Tutorial, or Ramble, or whatever. I just want to preface this by saying this will be just one take, so there's obviously going to be some mistakes. But, yeah. So, I just want to start off with some thoughts about the level. I think Pelagic 2 Agent is... Actually, quite a fun level. I think it's quite slept on due to some of the RNG in the beginning. But what I find so fun about this level is that it is just... You can just continue every run. You can just pump out runs. doesn't matter if it's completed or not. You can just keep going and keep going and keep going until... Even if you're not getting good button sets, you can just get insane at the level. Which is what I did. Uh, eventually, you know, getting the untied here. So, my goal with this guide is to basically help people of any skill level. I'm going to be going over some different strats, you know, I'm going to be switching between some different runs here. They're all my runs, uh, just purely because I know my runs best, and, you know, I'm not about to go through the rankings and watch every freaking run just to find the strats I want. But yeah, um, so, I just want to, let's see, okay, so we'll start off with my untied. The beginning, it will be the same for every run. Uh, I do not re recommend using any other strat, you know, that, uh, the beginning of Pelagic to Agent, basically, you use the end bomb to blow up a bunch of guards so they don't pull the alarm. There is an alternative strat where, well, I, I wouldn't say alternative, it's more so just a slow strat where you can turn around, throw a bomb without getting hit yourself, which does make the movement a little bit easier because Joanne is not going to be uh, concussed, basically. So, let's start. Okay, so you basically just want to cut immediately. Um, watching cutscene doesn't matter at all. You can you can watch the whole cinema if you want, um, and it won't affect anything in the level. But obviously, if you're just putting out runs, you just want to put out as many as possible. So, cut immediately. Start in right strafe. There will be sort of see okay right here in the corner there's actually like a little sort of rail that jut juts out a bit so you don't want to flick right as soon as you cut the cinema you actually want to wait a little bit which is what i do here wait just just a yocto and then i flick right and what you're going to do from here is one forward switch is the laptop gun, two forward switches is the end bomb. Now on SA and PA, you want to pull out a laptop gun, but in agent, you want to double switch to get to the end bomb. So you basically run to the door, switching here, um, you can do it before, which I do, or you can do it after. It doesn't matter. You can warp the door, but it's extremely rare and you will never react to it. You'll just slam against the wall. So basically just Flick right, open this door as, you know, as far as possible. Obviously, you want to try to get get it from pretty far. Right here, I'm pretty close, but it doesn't matter that much. It's just, you know, saving frames. So once you come through, you just want to flick right. And when you have the end bomb out, you want to start priming as soon as possible. So hold Z and run to this corner here, right? So you're running, running. You want to be looking up, and where you want to throw the bomb is you want to let go of Z probably, yeah, just before you're running past this yellow and black sort of line here. The goal of this is you actually want the end bomb to hit right here which will make the M-bomb bounce in a way that 
won't hit you, but it'll kill all the guards that run towards the alarm. So you throw it, and then you start priming the second M-bomb, and you want to open this door, obviously, from as far as possible again. As soon as you open it, try to get stuck in the little crease of the door as it's opening, and you want to just look completely down. You can look a little, you know, you don't have to look completely down, but you basically want the M-bomb to explode at your feet. So you come through, you want to turn hard right here, because there is a pillar right here that you just want to go around. So you go around the right side, you can see here, I'm actually rubbing up against it. And basically, as you're passing the pillar, or actually it's, it's better to look at this line here, you want to throw the end bomb, so really Z, before you pass this line. And the reason for this is, basically if you throw it too late, it'll still kill all the guards, but you'll also get double hit, which means your screen will be even more blurry, and it'll be it's just horrible, especially if you're using the x-ray. So you let go, it blows up, Joanna will get hit, that's fine. And basically, you want to stay on... You want to stay parallel to, to like this line here, because the, the floor is basically just squares. So you stay parallel, and then you look up and hit B. Uh, you can hit this door from really far away, just experiment it with it for a little bit, you know? Um, obviously, in Perfect Dark, the B press comes out as you release B. So if you're a Golden Eye runner normally, then it's going to feel super weird, basically. So if you're like playing for League or something. So you come up, and here is sort of a deviation. So this is where these runs come in, up here, in these tabs. Basically, there's a couple of ways to approach these buttons coming up. So there's what I do in my untied, which is called, you know, piss buttons. It's basically where... Uh, I'll, I'll give you... I'll, I'll show. So basically, I approach, and the goal here is I want to hit these two buttons. There's one around this wall here, right here. And I want to hit this one and this one. Basically, in left strafe. So, if I take the speed down a bit. So, I look more to the right as I'm approaching. And then I switch left strafe really, really fucking early. So... I don't recommend this for basically anyone. The only reason you would do this strat is if you're obviously trying to tie my 36 or go for 35. Um, but it can be really difficult because you need to be mashing at a ridiculous speed. Because listen to this. So I'm mashing at like fucking Mac 10 right now. And you can hear the buttons just go beep 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 beep. So yeah, that's that's the piss buttons. Do not recommend. I just thought I'd include it just in case anyone wanted some sort of explanation. It's really just monkey brain. Mash B as fast as you can and do it in left strafe. Now going a tier down in speed, we're gonna be looking at X-rayless, but you know, a little more normal. So this is my P2 Agent 40, which I got, you know, forever ago. At least for me. Um, same stuff, come up. Now you flick right again. But this time, you want to stay in right strafe until you've hit these two buttons. So you go, boop, boop. And as soon as you've, you've hit this button, you want to switch back to left strafe. And keep mashing. Mashing is important here because you can't double press these buttons. So you go, you're mashing, and you, for this button, this can be really tricky. Basically, to play it safe, you actually want to come fairly close to this button, which means 
this rail here, there's like a little corner, you will get stuck on that most likely a lot of runs. Uh, you just need to get a feel for it and basically try to hit the button and flick left as hard as you can, but then sort of flick back right to go down the stairs. So that's just normal x-ray list. You can get 37 with this. You could maybe even get 36. I'm not sure. Probably. But let's say you're trying to get a good time, but you're not new to the game. You just want a decent time. You want like an 80 pointer. Well, you can use the x-ray. So basically, same stuff. As you approach this door, open it. And right here, I recommend just pausing and equipping the x-ray. I think I come out a little bit. You want to do it before the door fully opens because one, pausing loses speed, loses running speed. Um, and two, you're not doing anything before the door opens. You're, you're just strafing into the door. So you can equip x-ray and you can actually warp the door as well when you equip x-ray. But I can't actually, yeah, I wait a little bit, equip x-ray, and I take a peek. I, you can, I can see that these two buttons are green and these two buttons are green. So here you can actually just unequip x-ray right now and then just do the x-ray list strat. But if you want to play it extra safe, you can actually just wait until the strafe change. So you go one, two, and then you pause. Unequip it, and you go one, two. Now, that's if you get good set. I want to sort of try to explain to, my, to the best of my ability. It, it, you'll understand it once you play the level more. But this is an essay run, but it's the same same thing. If you get a bad button set, I get pretty cucked in this run. So this button set is freaking horrible. So we see we have green, red, green. So I know this green is here. So I'm just going to ignore this green and I'm going to go around counterclockwise. So I go one, two. So I know I've hit two. One's accounted for here, but the other one's missing. I don't know which one it is. So, what I do is I wait until I see it. And now, between this green button and the next green button, there will be a red button. But that doesn't matter too much because when you hit a red button, you actually have a brief period where you can keep hitting green buttons and actually complete. So, what you can do is you can just unequip X ray now. And then run around and mash these three buttons. So you'll see me take off x-ray. And I actually don't, I don't mash super hard, but I actually do hit a red button. Uh, even though it still opens. So yeah, that's basically the buttons. There can be all different kinds of sets. You just need to learn to react and adapt, basically. Um, it's it's a bit of a learning process, but you don't like I said, you don't have to worry about not hitting the buttons because the rest of the level is actually the same as if you do complete it. Albeit it'll be a bit brighter. So let's see, where are we? So you can't hit the buttons, you wanna come try to avoid this rail here. Uh if you play in wide, it'll probably be a bit easier to see. I just prefer full full masteries. So you want to come down these stairs and as you're falling just flick hard to the right until you see the reactor and basically you want to you don't want to get too close to the reactor you can actually mash this button. So what you can do I actually switch straight here it's important to switch straight early, obviously, because you get out of there faster. So you mash, hit the button, and this part can be super tricky. So these stairs, you just get stuck on them non-stop. It's actually super rare to not get stuck on them. 
but I sort of found a little trick that is fairly consistent. You only get stuck for like a couple frames. So you come up, you want to run to this back wall here. You don't want to get onto the stairs early. So you can see, you, you can actually get onto the stairs early, but I found the further left you are on the stairs, the more likely you are to get stuck. So you want to be running up these stairs. I suggest, I know I don't do it in the video. I actually do, I, I, I do a couple things wrong, wrong in my untied. It was just stuff before I figured everything out. So you want to come to the wall. You don't want to pull out the laptop gun yet. Because if you pull out the laptop gun while you're going up the stairs, you can actually just warp through the stairs. So just don't do that. Um, but you're rubbing against this wall. And when you're up about halfway up the stairs, you want to flick right. It was actually kind of hard to see. I played in full speed. You sort of flick right a little bit. It's actually impossible to see. Uh, try to slow it down a bit. So I flick right then left. It's just a really fast motion, just right then left. Actually, I might might be able to see on my input display. So watch my input display here. Right left. Okay, I, I sort of go right left to right. So, yeah, there's that. The stairs, um, you just have to accept that you're going to get stuck on them. And good thing I paused here. Because this right here, this wall that sort of juts out, you actually don't want to go too close. Because from around here, where th this corner is, basically straight down, there's actually a huge invisible wall that you get stuck on. So you want to go wide. Um, keep in mind, there's almost always going to be guards here that will block you, especially if you're slow. So just try to slip past them. If you pull out the laptop gun early, it is possible to gun them down. Or if your pace is slower. So yeah, come around, go wide. You can see, I actually cut that pretty close. Pretty good line. See how corner's right here. I switch uh, to looking right. And you want to stay in the left strafe this entire time. Don't switch to right strafe or don't do C up. S just do all left strafe. Trust me, it's better. And faster. So you want to come out of this door. Click left. And you want to... Okay, so basically this door right here that I go through, if it's open, that's great, fantastic. It actually saves so much time if it's open, but what's kind of special about my run, and actually this run is sort of the same. So this door is open, but there's always, almost always, a guard standing here blocking you. So what you can do is you can either stay in left strafe and shoot him or you can see up and shoot him and then go back into left strafe. Uh, actually, I actually haven't checked what I do in this run. I think this run is probably a good example of what will probably happen most runs. So he's opening it. I switch, I look left, switch to see up, gun him down and then switch back to left. But there's obviously cases where the door is just not open or this guy is blocking you, but you can slip past him like that. In my untied, he's just... He, I think what happens is he runs up to the left of me, and that's why we don't see him. He sort of does like... Yeah, I'm not... I, I, don't, I don't know if anything causes it. I think it's just random. But you can just get through cleanly. You, you can hear him shoot me. So... This part here is super important. Uh, it's just a long hallway. There's a door here. And basically, uh, since, I'm, since I've already done it for the buttons, I'm basically going to go from 
the fastest strats to the slower strats. Uh, so in my untied, you can actually open this door. So I I sort of flick right, and you you have to press B super early, like obviously because like I said, PD B presses actually happen on the release. So you have to you have to really cook this one. It's uh, let's see, it probably opens. Oh, whoops. Probably opens around here. Yeah. Okay. So you come up, and then you flick right, then straight away flick back to left. You you can't even. If you delay at all, you'll just run into the corner and lose a bunch of time. So you go boom. And so that's that strat, if you open the door. I don't recommend it. Um, frankly, it saves very, very little time and also makes the ending completely random. Don't do this strat. Uh... That is, of course, unless you're going for 35 or 36. Now, let's look at this run. This run doesn't do the door open. It just runs straight past, right? Does it, it won't do the flick. But right here, there's this brown line. There's actually two. So you can see there's one and then there's two. On this second line, you want to deploy the laptop gun. This is for both strats, by the way. Um, but this strat here, it's actually, you need to open the door, then start throwing the laptop gun straight away. It's like, yeah, practically right after. Um, for this strat, you don't have to worry too much. You just, around the time you're passing the brown line here, you deploy the laptop gun. So you're going up, going up, and here, before the laptop gun comes out, you want to make sure you're not aiming here or here. You want to be aiming at this back wall here. So it, this one is kind of fine. Uh, ideally, you want it here. You want the laptop gun here. Because you basically, you want the laptop gun to kill this guy and also... Oh, there's a guy here that you want it to kill as well, because they'll block you as you're coming back. Someone here. So you throw it. And basically you go up these stairs and be prepared to pause. So you come up and you want to pause, not at the top of the stairs, but just a little bit afterwards, just a yocto. So you can see I run up a bit and I don't pause exactly at the top of the stairs but it's sort of like a few frames after. Uh, let's look at this run. Th this run f actually fucks up the laptop gun. The yeah, it's the same. You, ideally, th this run does it pretty good, actually. You sort of flick to the right, and you want to try to get a good line before you pause. But if you've done it successfully, you will have skipped the GPS speech. Um, if you fail it, you can just switch to cinema. You, you can stay in you can stay in wide or full for this, but actually switching to cinema makes speech skips a lot easier. Um, you can unpause. You can either look down a bit and just stand there and keep pausing or you can run to the first guy and try to get the speech skip there because it is very recoverable and fairly easy to recover it uh, i don't have any videos uh as an example but you'll know what i mean once we actually get to the speech skips here so for this i actually want to switch to this run because i do it correctly in this run. So come up, skip the speech. You'll be able to hear her talking, and you'll see the text box, text box uh, pop up. So if she's talking while you're in pause, then that's good. You've got it. Okay. 
so now basically the goal uh, okay first of all yeah uh, i highly recommend switching to cinema for these skips first of all it makes the line to the the other speech skips a lot easier and also it makes the speech skips themselves a lot easier because pausing is a bit faster so I switch to cinema, wait for the speech to end, and when I unpause, basically the idea, I go a bit wide here, but the idea is you want to switch to left strafe and glide along this wall here, just like the, the console part. And... Jo Joanna will sort of like lift up off of the ground and you want to pause right as she's about to land. It's it's pretty much the same timing every time. This skip is super easy. It's very lenient and it's also super easy to re recover this one as well if you fail it. Now some important notes is you want to be directly facing the guy. Um, if you're looking too far left or too far right, he actually won't talk to you. So you go here, you pause, and most of the time you won't actually hear the speech skip. So just stay in pause for a second, and then you want to unpause and quickly pause again. Um, you know, it's it counts if you don't know how speech skips work. Um, I just, you know, I don't know. Just watch. Uh, there's probably a video on them. And you want to re-pause, and you want to be paying attention to this guy's arms. If you have successfully got the second skip, he'll actually lower his arms. Like this. And it, it's pretty consistent, like, he will do it almost every time, so it's a very good visual cue to know if you've hit both the skips. So... Once you've got that, basically want to unpause, and you actually want to punch this guy as you pass him. You you want to you want to run to the left side of him and punch him. So you go boom, and this corner here. You want to start looking right and pause as you pass this corner. And remember, you need to be looking directly at them. This guy is very finicky. And you will fail it a lot. Um, I think in this run... Okay, let's watch it. So I pause. See, I pause late and I'm also looking too far right. So you see that? I'm too far right so he's not talking to me, but as soon as I flick left, it works. And for this guy, it's the same thing. You Once you have the speech skip, you unpause and then you pause again as quickly as possible. Uh, looking down a little bit does help as well with the speech skips because there's just a little bit less lag. So you want to re-pause. And this guy, I don't know what it is with this guy, but this guy, a lot of the time, doesn't lower his arms. You just have to trust that you get the second one. Uh, if you want to do an extra pause, that's fine. Uh, I don't recommend waiting until he does start lowering his arms because sometimes he's just super delayed and, you know, you, you just want to go on the second pause. So we'll go back to my untied. So I do it differently here. Don't, don't copy this run specifically. Copy the one we just watched. But this, this speech could actually... The second one goes a lot better here. So I pause right as I pass it. I'm looking directly at the guy. I do a repause and he's lowering his arms. Uh, my repause was a little late, but I still got the skip. I go back into full. You can go back into full or wide or whatever you play on. And as soon as you come out of this pause, you want to be in right strafe. And you can either go to the left of that middle console or to the right of it. I don't think it really matters. I, I just go to the left of it because it's a more direct line. Um, if you're newer, 
I do recommend taking out the Falcon here because there will be guards a lot, a lot of the time blocking you. Well, not a lot of the time, but this guard running up here can actually come up the stairs. Uh, let's see if I can spot him. Yeah, right here. This guy can block you, so just be aware of that. Uh, there's no reason you shouldn't have the Falcon out here. Uh, it is pace dependent, which is why actually I, I don't pull out the Falcon because I know I'm going fast and he can't be there. So uh, I'll say I'll say on this video for now. Basically, you want to keep running. You want to stay in right strafe. So it, but between the last pause and this door here, you want to stay in right strafe. And then you switch to left strafe right here. If the door's closed, you switch to left strafe as the door is opening, which I'll, I'll give an example here. So see how the door's closed? I hit it in right strafe and then switch to left strafe as, it, as it's opening. And then here you want to flick left and press B as soon as you see the door. You can open this from so far away. I, I'd open it late here. Let's see if I do it any better here. What the hell? Yeah, you, you can open it from very far away. So just keep that in mind. If you want to play it safe, you can. It's fine. But you can come through this door, and the goal is you want to hit this corner here, um, which can be achieved by sort of going further to the right, landing in the middle, but sort of letting Joanna slide into the spot. Um, oh, what, one thing to note as well, as soon as this door is opened, you want to start switching weapons. Like, you just mash A. Just mash A for this entire part here. So you can see I'm mashing A here. And as soon as you hit these barriers, go neutral. Just don't touch anything. You want Joanna to not be moving at all so she can get up onto this little ledge, which... Yeah, right here. Uh, I don't know why, but you just, you can't do it if you hold strafe. You have to let go of strafe. So you'll see in the input display here, I let go. So I let Joanna sort of slide in there. So with this, once you've let her slide in, you'll actually see her pop up a little bit. So just pay, pay, pay a bit of attention here. Actually, I'll slow it down a bit. So you can see I let go, and then she goes up. If you pause and you think you're not far enough up, then you just re-pause. But keep in mind you need to keep the weapon swap going. So what you can do is actually just go and switch weapons in pause. So I do it here, I switch to the Falcon. I let it go up a little bit more. And I'm pretty confident with this. So I basically go back into my inventory, equip X-Ray, um, equip high res, and when you come out of pause, you just want to just continue mashing A. Uh, I fuck it up in this run, but you, you just want to keep mashing A and you want to be perpendicular to the barriers. So you can see, because we've slid in. What the hell? Because we've slid in uh, to the left, Joanna should al already be sort of perpendicular to the barriers anyway, but you can just adjust as you come out of pause. So, quick x-ray, high res, and then here you're, you're switching, and you want to be looking down. You don't want to look too far down, 
but around here is good. Around 45 degrees, I think, is good. This will uh, load these floors here, which will have guards in them, and cause more lag. And you want more lag because the warp. Uh, yeah, you basically get through like butter. This was actually quite a big find for me because most people would actually just look neutral. Um, I do it on my 36. I'm, I'm looking neutral, and it actually takes me a little while to get through. But with this, I actually just walk through because I fuck up the weapon switch. And yeah, so that's P2 Agent. Um, I should mention also, when you actually do get through, you will hit this this little ledge here, or lip, I should say. Uh, you can't really see because of the x-ray, but you can either switch to right strafe to get around it, which is what I recommend. Uh, but you can also stay in left strafe and flick right to get around it as well. Just whatever's more comfortable for you. Uh, and yeah, you trigger the final objective. Uh, I look, I look down here and cause a bunch of lag. It doesn't matter, but you do want to unequip X-ray and high res before the end of the level because you can round up, obviously. And there it is. It's a forty-minute fucking guide for a thirty-second level. There we go. But, yeah, I'll watch this back. If I miss anything, I might edit it in. I'm not sure yet. Or I'll just clarify in the description or comments, you know. But yeah, um, shout out to the guys who worked on the wiki. I'm very excited to see where that'll lead. A lot of the pages are already looking sick. I haven't looked at the Goldeneye one, because fuck Goldeneye, but, you know. Uh, the PD one's looking good, and I just wanted to contribute because I feel like I'm fairly qualified with this level considering I do have the untied and there is a lot of stuff that I found out and thought I could just pass it on but yeah uh keep an eye out I may do one for SA and PA it'll probably be one video and it'll probably be way fucking longer than this so no promises but I will try to get to doing that yeah thanks bye